Hi friends, this is Miss Michelle and I hope you're having a great day. Today we're gonna make an edible craft. It's gonna be super delicious. This week we're learning about farm animals. So we're gonna make two animals that live in the farm. We're gonna make a chicken and a pig. The ingredients that we're gonna use are craisins, strawberries, cheddar cheese, cream cheese, red food coloring, two slices of bread, and a round cookie cutter. If you don't have a cookie cutter, you can use a knife. Make sure you ask help from mom or dad or grandmother when it's time to cut. You can also substitute any of these ingredients for things that you have at home. First, let's have some fun with shapes. Shapes are all around us, friend. Look at this slice of bread. What shape does it look like? You guessed, it's a square. Squares have four sides that are all the same length. Let's count together, ready? One, two, three, four. Squares are quadrilateral. Quadrilaterals are shapes that have four sides. Can you think of another one? Share it with your family members. Now I have our cookie cutter. Our cookie cutter is shaped like a circle. Circles have no sides. Look around your kitchen. Can you find something that is shaped like a circle? And I have one more shape. Our piece of cheddar cheese is shaped like a triangle. How many sides does a triangle have? Let's count, ready? One, two, three. Three sides. Let's make a triangle in the air, ready? One, two, three. Way to go, friends. Let's get started. First, we'll take our slice of bread. We're gonna use our cookie cutter to cut our square into a circle. I already have a piece of bread already cut into a circle. Then, we're gonna spread pink cream cheese. I previously mixed cream cheese with red food coloring. Some pigs are pink, some are black, some are brown. Have you seen a pink before? What color was it? Our next step, we're gonna put two pieces of strawberry that almost looks like triangles and they're gonna be their ears. Pigs, like us, use their sensational sense of hear to listen and collect information that can help them stay safe. Our next step is to use the raisins or craisins or chocolate chips to make the eyes of our pig. Then we're gonna use an oval slice of strawberry and it's gonna be the snout. The snout is the nose of the pig. Then we're gonna use two little pieces of raisins for the nostrils. The nostrils are the little holes in our nose that help us breathe. And there you go. You have your pig. What sounds do pig make? Oink, oink. Way to go, friends. An onomatopoeia word is a word that describes the sound that animals make, and also things like trains, or cars, or airplanes. Share with a sibling what do you know about pigs? Our second animal is a chicken. We're gonna start our chicken doing the same thing that we did with our pig. We're gonna cut our square into a circle. 
and I already have a circle previously cut for us. We're going to spread cream cheese on our bread. Then we're gonna add three little pieces of strawberry at the top of our head and this is going to be the comb of the chicken. The red thing on top of the chicken is called the comb. Then we're gonna use two crazings for the eyes of our chicken. And finally, we're gonna add our triangle. And this is gonna be the beak of our chicken. Chickens use their beak to pick up the food and eat it. Way to go, friends. We have our two farm animals. Now it's time to enjoy them. Use your sensational sense of taste to see what this snack tastes like. Remember, our tongue has little dots called taste buds and they identify the flavors in food. Is it sweet? Is it sour? Is it salty? Is it tart? I hope you enjoy making this snack. We'll see you later. Bye.